Welcome in on deck. I'm Tyler Redman. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I always appreciate it. While you're here, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and of course, tell your friends about it as well. With that said, we got to talk about what's going on with the Atlanta Braves right now. Of course, a big night last night, big call. The Braves were trending. We already did a video on that, so while you're here, go make sure to check that out. But let's talk about what actually matters, and that's how the Braves are doing on the field. I want to first start off with the bats because they have now come alive. Uh, in that first series with Philly, you know, the Braves' bats were pretty much dead. Only like 11 hits over three games. Not not a big uh, not a big offensive showdown. And that's pretty abnormal for this team because this lineup last year, which is virtually the same, uh, has struggled uh, in those first three games. And then, you know, the only shining light really was Pablo Sandoval coming out with a mammoth homer you know, to win it, or not to win it, but to put some runs on the board for the first time. And, you know, with that out of the way, let's talk about the National Series, because that's when the bats really started opening up. They lost that first game uh, against the Nationals. Uh, you know, it just didn't amount to much. But the second and third game was, of course, a doubleheader, and that's when you really started to see some, some wheels turning. You started to see some runs being put on the board and some things changing. You could argue with me that the weather had something to do with it. I wouldn't be surprised at, at that notion because it was super cold in Philly. Of course, you go down to D.C., it's a little bit different. Uh, but, you know, uh, I was at the home open of Friday, and that's when the offense blew open. Uh, Freddie Freeman homered, Ronald Acuna homered. Uh, I mean, it was just an absolute... I mean, they put eight runs on the board. I don't know how much else you can ask. But, you know, the offense has finally started going. Ozzy Albies has looked better. Marcelo Zuna's starting to have better at bats. I think the offense is going to be just fine. And that's a, you know, a 180 from where we were in the first three games because everybody was a little bit worried. I wasn't because I knew what they were doing in tropical weather of Northport, Florida. Uh, and, of course, it's a big shift going to Philadelphia at this time of year. But we still have a long road ahead. Hopefully the offense will continue. I would like to see Christian Pache and Austin Riley start seeing some balls land and uh, have a little bit more success. But other than that, the offense has been absolutely outstanding these past few days. What about starting pitching, right? Charlie Morton, no complaints. I have no complaints out of Charlie Morton. Ian Anderson, no complaints really. Drew Smiley, uh, tough night last night, but I think he'll get better. Uh, Max Freed, uh, you know, we Max Freed's an interesting one right now because we all know who Max Freed is. We know what he was last year. He was a Cy Young candidate, undefeated, sub-3 ERA. I think a 2-2-5 ERA to be exact. Absolute stud last year. Carried the mantle that Soroka left behind after his injury last year. We, we know it all, right? But he has not looked so hot this year. Uh, I will give him this. He has looked really good considering he didn't have his A stuff. Uh, he's managed to pitch really well with that. But he's only pitched seven innings over two starts. You know, that, that last start was only a two-inning appearance. And he really just got hit around. It, it, he's had a lot of strikeouts. He's had like 11 strikeouts in those seven innings. But th there hasn't been a ton of easy innings for Max Freed. Uh, hopefully he'll get some more innings under his belt. Uh, we know what Max Freed can do. Hopefully he'll turn it around soon. That's where I'm at with the starting pitching. And that's where, of course, I'm at with the hitting as well. In terms of the bench... Let's talk about the bench. That's a very exciting topic. You know, I talked about the bench a lot during spring training. You can go back and check some of those videos out. Uh, Pablo Sandoval was never in my top two to make it to the bench. Uh, not until late, late, late in spring training. I always thought it was going to be Kipnis or Lamb, who Lamb's gone now. Kipnis is in the minors. A. Ray Adrianza didn't appear until late, but man, did they show out. They have come in guns a blazing and just came out the gate swinging. A. Ray Adrianza has a homer. He hit one in that home opener as well. Pablo Sandoval has two. And if honestly, I'll take Pablo Sandoval in the batter's box over Ender Enciarte any day of the week. I'll take A. Ray Adrianza in the batter's box over Ender any day of the week. Those guys have made themselves part of the team. Uh, Pablo Sandoval is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Uh, just, just purely because of who he is, his personality, and his ability to absolutely go yickety. That makes me want him in the batter's box. I don't care that if he gets on first, he's probably going to need a pinch runner. I really don't care. If he can put bat on ball and get on base, that's all I need. With that said, a lot of excitement out of that. The bullpen has been up and down. I think for the most part, they've done pretty well. Luke Jackson has managed to not give up a run so far and get out of any, any kind of situation he's been in. 
Will Smith uh, had a good night. Uh, you know, he he's had a couple of ups and downs as well, but he had a, he had one good night. You know, he's struggled. I think he's got to get some in, in, innings under his belt as well, similar to Max Fried. I do think he's going to turn it around. Uh, you know, last night was unfortunate. I I thought Will Smith was you know really pitching well, and they made that call um, at home, and that's just really unfortunate. But you know, it is what it is. Moving on from that, though, the the rest of the bullpens look really good. Tyler Matzik has looked good. AJ Minter continues to be absolutely elite. They did recall Jacob Webb. Don't know if you guys saw that, but Chris Martin is of course out on the injured list, and they did recall Jacob Webb. I hope to see him being as elite as he was last year, and uh, maybe just maybe the bullpen will be just as good as it was last year. But that's pretty much everything there is to talk about surrounding the Braves. If you have questions, I will, of course, respond to you right here on YouTube in the comment section below. But before you go, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, tell your friends about this channel. It really helps me out. Before I go again, www.lorandygloves.com. Those guys are absolutely amazing. Here, I'll show you. Go check out these guys. Look at this glove, man. Absolutely beautiful. These are customizable. Mine is... You know, pretty generic, I would say, but I like it the way it is, and it feels good on my hand, and it is absolutely perfect. Go check them out, guys. If you want different colors, if you want your name on it, whatever you want, these guys can do it. Link is in the description below. Go check them out. I'd really appreciate it. But that's all we got here for today. Check out the other video I dropped today talking about that terrible call last night, what MLB should do about it.